My first music teacher I remember was this guy, a Mr. Conlon, which because I'm a little dyslexic, I thought his name was Colin. First music teacher, he was a tall, bald, gray hair all the way through. His name was Mr. Hout. Mrs. Santa Donato. This lady was an angel. There was a music class that I remember taking, um, which was kind of, so we pretty much just played musical chairs and the recorder. The first time I ever really was taught music was by my dad. Mrs. Salviati. Mrs. Blanchard. Miss Edwards, I think that was her name. And she ended up being like probably the most amazing teacher I've ever had. She used to sing like as she, like she would speak to you, but she would sing. She'd be like, I can hear you sing a little louder. She had like a really fun outlook on music that I didn't see as I got older. You walk in and it's that type of teacher you get scared to see. But then when you hear him talk, he's a nice genuine guy that just loves music. Up until him, I didn't think anything of music. I did I was still holding a grudge with my recorder. <laughs> like we would sing Spanish songs and it just kinda made it feel something more cultural versus something like, I don't know, a right and a wrong. And I think it's just more fruitful when you're younger especially to be like, oh, music is a fun thing. Me and like three other people in the chorus kind of like just realized how important all those like all those memories that he fostered really were. My music education um, had, had so much to do with, with who I am now. I'm so incredibly grateful. I remember her because she really shaped who I am and changed my life. You know, this is something that we'll all have forever and remember because of him. It's like, it's great. I still quote him to this day. Dick X, good guy. <laughs>